And we are back with Senator Jason Rapert, Lieutenant and Gubernatorial Candidate for the Republican Party. Let's talk about some of the issues and uh, values that you were talking about earlier, Senator. Um, let's talk about some social issues. What do you believe are the most important social issues to Arkansans? Most people in the state of Arkansas know that I have been a very strong advocate on the pro-life issue. I made that commitment when I was first elected in 2010. And in 2011, I ran one of the first heartbeat bills in the country. The Democrats killed it. But in 2013, after we took over the majority, I ran the first heartbeat bill in the nation that became law on March the 6th of 2013, right here in the state of Arkansas. And I've been very active around the country with that. As president of the National Association of Christian Lawmakers, we have members and supporters in every state now. You can go to ChristianLawmakers.com and see that. And we have been advocating, and guess what? In the state of Texas, Senator Brian Hughes, my friend, an NACL member with me, passed the heartbeat bill in Texas that includes the civil cause of action. And they are saving babies every day in the state of Texas now. Here, we passed the trigger bill. I, I sponsored that bill, which says as soon as Roe is overturned, which we hope that's going to be soon, then we immediately ban abortion except to save the life of a mother in this state. I actually passed SB6, which was in the first of 21. It bans all abortions in our state except to save the life of the mother right now. But a federal court put an injunction on that bill. That's why I have urged Governor Asa Hutchinson to pass the Texas-style civil cause of action. I tried to do it in a special session. Governor Asa Hutchinson stopped me, and Senator Jimmy Hickey would not support that. And we for they forced an adjournment. I want strong pro-life Republicans that mean what they say when they say they want to protect life. So life is important to our Arkansans. I'm a lifetime member of the NRA. I'm a concealed carry member. I believe in protecting the Second Amendment, upholding the United States Constitution. And you know what else? I believe that marriage is between one man and one woman, you know, and we need to start working on that issue again. And the other thing is stop teaching critical race theory to our children. They're making our children hate each other. America is a wonderful place. Arkansas is a great place to raise our families to work and to, to be good neighbors to each other. But we've got the left in this nation, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris and their minions, even in our own state, who are pushing CRT and these sort of things. I love this great nation, and I'm looking for people that want to uphold the Judeo-Christian foundation of this nation and put us back on the right track so we can be a shining city on the hill again. COVID-19 now, should at any point the state mandate vaccinations? Absolutely not. The United States Constitution, and might I say the Declaration of Independence, is we are endowed by our Creator, that's God, with certain unalienable rights, which are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. It bothers me that one of my opponents in this race, Attorney General Rutledge, she has never stood against the businesses trying to mandate vaccines on our people in our state. People are getting fired. They're reaching out to me. I'm helping them, putting them in touch with lawyers to protect their rights. Because guess what? Asa Hutchinson, he wouldn't help us on that either. He wouldn't help us on the employer vaccine mandates. He would only say, as Leslie Rutledge says, She's against the Biden vaccine mandates. Well, let me tell the people of Arkansas something. Not only have I fought and spoken out against these things, I helped try to pass legislation to protect the Arkansas workers. It is unconscionable that they would threaten to take away the livelihood, which means they're attacking the pursuit of happiness of the people of the state because they have a religious or medical exception that they wish to pursue an exemption to say they don't want to take an injection into their bodies. We know what's happening. Listen, COVID-19 is difficult. I've had it. I've had family that's had it. It is something that's serious. But I will tell you this, the COVID, current COVID-19 vaccines are not keeping people from getting sick from the Omicron variant. It is ludicrous that they have fired people for not taking a vaccine that is not even going to be used here pretty soon anyway. All right, Senator Jason Raper joining us today from Conway. Senator, thank you so much for joining us. Candidate for Lieutenant Governor of Arkansas. Thank you.